I have this nagging problem. When I was a teenager, I used to like to listen to music and TV loud. Not crazy loud or anything, but louder than my mom liked. Mom, what are you doing? It's much too loud, Greg. You're gonna hurt your ears. I'm just trying to feel the beat. And how are you supposed to feel the beat when it's so quiet? Boy, if you want to feel the beats, turn around and I'll show you the beats. Okay, my mom didn't say that, but you get the drift. My mom did not like the loud music, and I did. When you get your own house, you can have your own rules. So I moved out of the house when I was 19, and I finally thought that I could turn up the volume. But I started hearing voices. That's too loud. Mom? I'm halfway across the country, and I can still hear you. Mom, it's my house, my rules, remember? You're renting, Greg, and I don't want that poor landlady to think that I raised an animal. Now turn it down. Now. Then I got married, and the problem got worse. My wife, like my mom, also liked the quiet. Can you turn it down, please? But I can't hear it then. Put the subtitles on then. But it's a music video. Well, I can sing a song for you. My heart will go on. Forget it. And then I had kids. Now if I listen to anything, it'd wake the kids up. Greg, the baby. baby. The baby is sleeping fine. Read a book. I'm so paranoid now that I don't even have to be in the house to feel like I should be turning down the music. Greg. How are you going to hear the ambulance or police if they come? I swear, they should really ban songs with sirens on the radio. It freaks me out, man. I'm always checking around, checking around, but nothing's ever there. Anyways, you'd think I'd be comfortable just running along with my headphones on. But no. What's that sound, Greg? Yeah, I think I heard something. You don't even have to tell me. Thanks for the paranoia, Mom. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Please read us how we are.